So like all rare diseases, it's really important to share, da uh, share data and do share muscular dystrophy because there are limited numbers of patients available around the world. They've spent time and effort giving their data to individual data databases. And we at CPATH have brought together, I think it's now 14 databases of Duchenne data and integrated them into a single database. Now, unlike some critical path databases, a lot of that data wasn't shared with us in a way that we can share with anybody in the community. So right now, you can't come in and apply for access to the Duchenne database. Some of the data has been shared with us in such a way that we can share with our consortium members and they have access to about half of the database. Um, the other half of the database was shared with us in such a way that we can use it to develop drug development tools, but we can't share the patient level data, which it would be nice if we could share that data with everyone, but at least in, in this format, we can develop those drug development tools and share those tools with the community and they can use the, that data, those tools to develop better clinical trial protocols and um, accelerate research, even if we can't share all of the individual level data. And of course, we're working towards the day where we can share more of that data with the community and with other groups because that will be of huge value.